Hey guys, so today I want to talk to you about a very important topic related to weight loss and that is stress eating. Stress eating is at the top of the list in terms of the things that cause people to struggle when trying to lose weight. So today, I'm gonna to give you four ways to combat stress eating, but first I'm gonna start with why stress eating plays such a vital role in your ability to lose weight, and it's not just about what you're eating if you're a stress eater. So let's get right to it, okay? Because stress can make weight loss way more difficult for people for several reasons. And again, it's not just about the food. First of all, stress causes, and this is related to the food, it causes people to stress eat. And it's a type of emotional eating, and it contributes obviously to excess calories that cause the weight gain. That's basic stuff, we get that. And in addition to that, Typically, when people are stress eating, they're craving foods that are usually high in fat and sugar. So we understand that. We're stress eaters, we go for the cookies and the chips. But what we don't realize is that even when we're not overeating or we are on a mission to compensate healthy foods when we're stress eating, we still have a battle to face. And that's what I want to address right now. Second, Secondly, stress causes the body to produce more of a hormone called cortisol. And cortisol is a stress hormone that makes it really difficult for us to lose weight. So in addition to us craving cookies and, and chips and foods that aren't necessarily healthy for us, our body is producing a hormone that is causing us to hold on to fat and potentially gain weight. So that is a bad in and of itself. Third, when somebody is stressed, they generally sleep less. And we know that less sleep and chronic fatigue causes another hormone in our body to rise up, and that hormone is called ghrelin. And that hormone is responsible for telling us that we're hungry. And when that hormone is elevated, it will sometimes say, hey, you're hungry, even when you're not. So in addition to being able to combat and supplement healthy foods for unhealthy foods when we stress eat, we have to understand that these two hormones are playing a role as well, and we need to do things to get them under control as well, to combat the stress eating and lose weight effectively once and for all. So today, I wanna to leave you with four strategies to help you on both ends of this continuum. So I'm gonna help you find foods that will be lower in calories and more nutritionally balanced, and I also want to help you keep these two hormones in check, okay? So the first thing that I think is very important for us if we are stress eaters is to realize that recognition is power, okay? So just simply being able to recognize the times of day when you get stressed. Because we're not talking about life-changing stressors here. We're talking about day-to-day -day frustrations that cause us to reach for a bag of chips or the cookies or the candy bar. When we are running late, when the kids aren't getting their homework done, those little stressors that just cause us to stress eat. We need to recognize that those are there and that they promote stress eating for us, okay? And in addition to that, we have to realize, when you recognize when you're stressed, the realization that food won't make the stress go away unless it's the right type of food. So the reality is the cookies and the chips and the highly processed foods will not make that stress go away. There are, however, foods that will help eliminate that stress, and I'm gonna leave you with that at the end of this session. But I just want you to start, and I want you to begin to think about, okay, what, what things go on throughout the day that cause me to get stressed, and just begin to constantly tell yourself that candy bar is gonna do nothing but 
increase my stress levels. So let's just start there, okay? And think about what really would help in those situations. If somebody's running late or you're running late and you're not gonna get to where you need to be and you're in the car and you're running behind, what really will help? It might just be a simple scripture. It might just be a simple prayer. It might just be breathing. But those things will combat the stress, whereas the candy bar and the cookies will not. Okay? Secondly, removal is part of the process. So that if there are trigger foods in your house that you tend to grab when you are stressed, it is important for a time to get those out of the way until you can get this stress under control. So if you have cookies readily available to you and you know 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. is a highly stressful time because you're running here and there, you've got lots on your plate to do, then it might be time to get those out of the house until you can get a better handle on this, all right? And realize that you don't have to keep cookies out of the house forever. Ever. You can bring them back, but while you're trying to actively lose weight, while you're trying to actively figure out how to manage your stress eating, it might be important just to get them out, okay? Third, we have to regroup. When we're learning how to deal with stress eating, we have to regroup and rethink about this whole process in order to move on. So we have to start thinking about how am I gonna handle this stress in the future? What am I gonna do to better manage those little times when I'm really frustrated about something? And I gotta be really honest with you here. The number one thing that always comes back to me and always helps me is just a scripture. It's just something that I can meditate on and I can recite and just remind myself that if I just say that over and over again, if I just embrace a certain scripture that brings peace and just a reality that, that, that this too shall pass, then I can get a better handle on the stress. I'm also going to leave you with a scripture that I think is super powerful with relation to stress eating. And then fourth, refresh for your journey. You're trying to lose weight here. I want you to get excited about that. I'm gonna leave you with some foods, some groups of foods, four of them, that will help you eliminate and reduce your stress. I want you to get excited about your weight loss journey. I also want you to begin to experience and think about what life is gonna be like when you are at a healthy weight and what that's gonna look like for you and your family. So get refreshed right now. Instead of working Worrying about whether or not you're going to stress eat later today, I want you to get excited about the fact that God is going to provide for you scriptures and ways for you to combat stress eating and for you to live healthier today and every day. And realize, here's an important realization for so many of us, the, the idea and the notion and the lifestyle of gratitude is something that will automatically reduce stress. So if you can just go ahead and begin thanking thanking God and he is going to help you lose this weight once and for all. That mindset alone automatically keeps those hormones in check, reduces your stress level, and allows you the clarity and the wisdom that you need to move forward on your journey. Okay, so let's talk about the foods that will help keep those hormones in check, all right? So we talked about those two hormones, cortisol and ghrelin. So I'm really gonna focus on this hormone cortisol because it can really become out of whack very, very quickly. And I wanna help you keep this in check because anytime again that hormone is elevated, it causes you to hang on to body fat and it resists the burning of calories. That's why so many of us have this little poop around our tummy and it has a lot to do with stress and elevated cortisol levels. So if you can reduce those cortisol levels, you have a better shot at losing weight, all right? So let's talk about that. First, there's the omega-3s. We want to get some omega-3s into our diet regularly things like nuts and seeds and salmon. And when we're talking about stress eating, we're often talking about snacking. So this is where you wanna get things like pistachios and walnuts into your diet because those help to lessen the production of cortisol in your body, thereby helping you fight that hormone and keep it in check and helping you lose weight. Secondly, we want to get some complex carbs into our diet on a regular basis. Things like oatmeal, things like whole grain breads and whole grain wraps, those good complex carbs ward off stress, 
by helping to produce something called serotonin in your body. And serotonin is that feel good hormone that relaxes and reduces anxiety in your brain. Again, keeping that cortisol level in check. Third, you wanna get some vitamin C regularly into your diet. Berries are a good source of vitamin C. Small amounts of orange juice. Again, they fight depression ward off anxiety, and boost your immunity by, again, reducing those levels of cortisone. So get the vitamin C into your diet. And finally, my very favorite, and it really is true, it really is scientific, but dark chocolate really helps you to lose weight. It's one of those feel-good foods that you can feel good about eating when you're a little stressed in small portions. I recommend just small individual pieces of good dark chocolate. It lowers your blood pressure and it lowers those cortisol levels. Again, when we look at this stress eating twofold, not just trying to supplement healthy foods for the unhealthy foods when we are stress eating, but realizing that there's something hormonally going on that has little to do with eating unless we're eating the right foods, then we can truly combat this stress eating once and for all. I wanna thank you so much for watching this program. Please continue to check back. We want you to get equipped for more. We're equipping you to lose weight and live healthy once and for all. Thanks for watching.